for Women's Day, and our next guest is single-handedly making the world a safer place for women everywhere. She started GWEN, that's the Global Women's Empowerment Network, and she's here to discuss an exciting new app that they've developed. Welcome, Tess Cacciatore. Thank, Thank you for you. being here. Thank you so much. And you know, and you just saw the segment that we had before. I know. We're Talk about empowerment for women. Right? I, I was trying not to get my mascara running. I know it. All the work that she does with Treasure You, but you're also doing some really significant work with GWEN. Tell us about it. Well, it stands for Global Women's Empowerment Network, and my special tagline is we can't do Gwen without the men. It's all about having the collaboration between males and females to be able to break the cycle of abuse. And it could be the silent abuses, or it could be the more tragic ones, the more obvious ones. Yeah. So it's, it's all around the, the, the globe, and uh, we're here in Dallas to talk about our mobile app and to talk about domestic violence and what's going on. What spurred you to start Gwen? Well, it's been about a 20-year journey, and I have my own personal experiences. I'm writing a book about it, and I met this very special person by the name of Michael Littenberg, who's the co-founder, and he had a passion for women. And I had 20 years of working in the media and technology and phil philanthropic arenas. And we just came together, and Gwen was born. So it's about transforming lives beyond abuse. Yeah. Okay. And the the app I think is so interesting because this is a this is a real way for women to feel safe. Explain to us how it works. I think we've got a graphic of, of what it looks like, and you can download it on iTunes, right? You can download it on iTunes for your iPhone or your Droid, so it's any smartphone. Okay. And it's a free app, and there's a music channels. So one of your local artists, Gary Floyd, is on one of our music channels. Oh yeah, he's coming on the show in a couple I weeks. I know. So tell us about the app. What, okay. What, so what does it do? The Gwen Alert is actually the special safety feature. So if you're ever out and traveling alone like I do a lot if you're a high school student a college student um, a senior citizen a woman who's in a domestic violence situation you can load up to five of your friends and it alerts them if you're ever in an emergency so with one click of the button it sends them a preset text message that says I'm in trouble I need your help and it gives a GPS location of where you're located. That's what I was just going to ask. How do they know where they are? So, and, and what it does is it makes it so if you're in a in, if you're in a scary situation, or if you're like on a date or I something, know. and the guy gets kind of scary, it's it's cumbersome to have to pick up your phone and call somebody or text yeah, somebody. Yeah, you could just this is pick just, it up and boom. click the button, and then the, they're alerted. So, if you're ever in a 911 emergency, sometimes it takes a long time to get there. Sometimes the police don't really respond right away. But if you have five people that know where you're at, mm -hmm. you're having five people call. 911 for on your you, behalf. On your behalf. Or they're coming to rescue you at the wow. same time. What's the response been? How long has the app been out? It's been out for about six months. And um, the Droid has been out for about two months now. And we just got our first international download. Wow. So it's international. So it has latitude and longitude. So if you're in a place that might not have the Google mapping, it'll actually give you the latitude and longitude coordinates so you can call an official that has any kind of thing or your Google Maps can show where people are. And you said that your, your work with Gwen about domestic violence, um, you're also working with, with Mayor Rollins, who we talked about yesterday. Yes, I'm not working with him yet, but I would love to. I think what Gwen is about to do is enter into all the cities and work with nonprofit organizations, really trying to get the collaboration and getting elected officials like Mayor Rollins. What he's doing on the 24th with the men is amazing. It's bringing awareness of domestic violence and I think it's a very important conversation for elected officials to get involved it with. It is. It's a, a march they're doing on the 23rd and actually Emmett Smith is involved. Pat yes, Tessman yes, Emmett is yes. Involved in it too. I'm so glad that they're stepping up to have that you know, and have the men's message there. It's mm -hmm. really important. Yeah, well because men are men are affected by um, they, they have that impression of, of how they should be by the people they admire too. Well the funny thing is is that you know one in three women are domestically violated and one in six men are. But I think the statistics are a lot higher, but men are afraid to come forward. So it's really important for them to come forward because they're the ones that might have been abused when they were children or they might have witnessed relationships that weren't healthy. Mm -hmm. So they don't know any differently and they're repeating the pattern. Yeah. So we have to really get to that forgiveness stage and really be able to get to the place where we can talk about it openly, we know yeah. the signs to watch out for, and that we actually begin to heal. And now we have a way to stay safe. So you yes. can find out more about the Glo Global Women's Empower Empowerment Network, Gwen, Gwen. <laughs> by going to our website, dthebroadcast.tv. You can also download the app from iTunes and, and the Droid Store, too. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Tess, for Thank being here. Thank you so here. much. And I really appreciate it. the work you're doing it. is so important. Thank you.